Time Phil. for um, Everybody, now live and <clears throat> those of us watching in cyberspace, whatever that is. So if you want to participate, I'm keeping you guys safe too. Um, I do... I do recommend after we're done, um, everybody eat salt or touch iron, especially if anybody's going to go drive afterwards to ground yourself. But right now, at, we're going to lift the veil, but I'm going to shut it. So, so you guys out there in TV land, you will sense and see and feel what we do because the way I lift the veil, you guys, everybody's going to be a little more psychic or a lot more psychic, all your senses. Um, when you see things, whether it's on the screen or in your room, you're usually going to see with your peripheral vision, not your straight vision. Look or feel for things like, of course, goosebumps and the chills, things getting warmer and colder when it, it's not the air conditioning coming on, um, heaviness and lightness. Any of the senses work, smell or taste or just knowing or feeling, seeing with your outside eyes, seeing with your inside eyes. Um, but know that no, nobody's going to keep anything, even if you want to, if we shut it down afterwards. So it, you're safe. You're safe. And I'm not going to let anything really dark, dark in at all. I won't because we don't need to because it's not that controlled of an environment, counting you guys. I work elementally, so I lift the, the way I lift the veil, the way I do publicly is working with Earth's elements, nature's elements, air and fire and water and Earth. Anybody who's at home or here, you work with other Deities, angels, you know, dragons, work with what you bring in. Everything, so long as it's, it's good and on the positive bent of things, is welcome. Um, Can I say something real quick? Yes. Hold on. Hey, I want to say to everybody out there, if you're watching this on the playback on the YouTube channel and you do see something or you experience something, please put it in the comments so we can go back and see what you're seeing, what you're experiencing. And if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the alarm because we're doing this a lot. If you guys want to be a part of it, please subscribe to us and hang out with us. And we appreciate you guys being there. So once again, you see something happening, put it in the comments and we're going to check it out. Yeah, because they, they are really good chance they're going to see what we don't see. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. All right, I got sparkly light. Look at that. So nice. Ooh, really good. Light. All right, hardest part of anything, everybody, not that the, for these guys, uncross your legs. Everybody uncross your arms, a little bit open. Everybody yeah. together, take a deep breath in. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Exhale. Just relax into it. Take another deep breath in. Hold it, hold it. Exhale. Good. One more, third time's the charm. Breathe in. Hold it. Hold it. Exhale. Oh, my light doesn't want to light. Light and dark are turning. Luck be in the burning. Light and dark are turning. Luck be in the burning. Black spirits and white, red spirits and gray. Mingle, mingle, mingle who may. Without a tout out, around and about. A world within and a world without. The good stay in and the ill stay out. I do want to call the east winds to blow through this space here, the space where everybody is. Blow out any confusion, darkness, negativity, and blow in true communication with spirit, true communication with the other side. Spirits of the East, be with us now. That might feel heady through here, through this whole crown of illumination. Now I want to call in the South, the fire, the passion, creativity, love, sex, God, everything that makes our heart beat. The breath of a dragon, a volcano exploding. May that South, may that fire again Burn away any blocks, burn away anything negative, burn away any darkness, and mold it, mold it into the shape of a heart, mold it into communication, into that fire of a dragon. Spirits of the South, be with us now. You might even feel that in the base of your spine, a little tingly in that base chakra, working its way up your spinal cord. Keep breathing. Now I want to call in the West, the sweet waters of the West. Water, again, almost 60% of our body, almost 70% of our planet, maybe more coming. Water is what cleanses, it 
flows. It's beautiful. Emotions like a gentle tear, like a gentle stream, like a raging river into the ocean itself, like the rains falling. May those waters wash. May those waters clear. May the waters, the emotion connect us into the spirits that we invite in. Also with the water, may we call on the mists of the ancestors. The mist within each of our blood, that ancestral blood, may it rise around us like mists off the lake. Spirits of the West, be with us now. And lastly, I want to call on the North, Mother Earth herself. This beautiful planet that we do call home, keep us grounded, keep us strong like a tree with roots that go deep into the earth and branches that can reach for and touch the heavens and the skies and the stars above. Give us that strength, give us that life force, keep us safe and protected as we reach for the heavens. Spirits of the North, be with us now. As we're swirling around the space within this studio, as you're swirling around the space within your homes or wherever you're listening to, as we slowly are raising the veil and slowly inviting in spirits, good and light, invite in deities and spirits that you work with and are your protectors and your ancestors, those that you want to talk to and speak to, whisper their name. There is a place where we all go, where ne'er the frost or cold winds blow, and friends remembered reunite, and those who hate forget their spite. We gather around these gentle beings. We call you now to bless our meeting. And for the living, these spirits do thrive. And now, for the living, may the dead come alive. With this ringing of this bell, we lift the veil twixt heaven and hell to call the spirits to us now to join us with this sacred vow. We are between the worlds. He's got the remote control for the lights. What was that? With that flashing has to stop. Make it stop. Please. Okay. There's somebody right away who wants to talk. And there's somebody right away who either doesn't want to talk or doesn't want that other person to talk. And you guys, anybody, again, anybody in this space, you feel things like tight throat, tight stuff like that. Feel your body can can feel stuff like this. It's getting to know the language, the language of spirit. The spirit who wants to speak Mm-mm. He might be a drummer. Anybody know a dead drummer? There's a million of them. Yes. You d- you ever know a dead drummer? A, a, de- a deceased yeah. passed on drummer? Yes. Can I get a first name? Um, Chris. Chris. Okay, Chris, is this you? Is are you hanging out? Um, I'm just, again old school. I'm gonna use a dowsing rod. It is Chris. He's telling me it is Chris. Um, these for a few of those who could see them. Um, they cross on yes, and they don't, and they don't cross on no. So, uh, Chris, is that you? Who's here, the drummer? Yeah. <laughs> mm. So Chris is here. Chris Pinger. Hmm. Chris Pinger. Chris Pan. Pinger. P i n g e r. Pinger. Chris Pinger. So hi, Chris Pinger. Ah. Um. Kind of. A lot of energy up through here. I don't know what that... And kind of a uh, chaotic... End? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That makes sense? Yep. In exactly where you're saying, too? He, yeah. Um, he's he's here because he likes... It. And spirits are going to go, whoop, the light's on. What We just opened a welcome thing. And um, he likes to... Something about... I, I started out with feet and shoes and boots. Does that mean something to you for him? I mean, it could just be a drummer hitting the, you know, the tom, the bass drum, or something like that. But something. Mm, no. No. 
It could just be the ba- it, you know. It, it just could be him he, hitting the the thing. Yeah. Um, but a definitive drummer. Um, and he is saying something. Is that me? No, no. Oh. We're good. It sounds like how. Hell, how, whole. <laughs> it's a breathy H that goes into something. Holler. Holder? Is that Ho- what you said? Holler. Holler? Could be holler. Ha, ha. Holler. Is that holler? Holler. Holler. Every time Tim starts to show, he goes, holler. Oh, he does? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's his little inside That's my little niche light. thing, he says. Is that what it is? When I'm going hell, hole, how? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so he's 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 doing it at him imitating he's he's imitating you. Holla. Does he Holla, o- does yeah. he often hang out? Do you often hang out? He wanted to give a funny answer, like odd days versus even days or something exactly like Exactly something he would say. He would say. So he hangs out sometimes. It it's yeah, he had I heard a bunch of funny answers all at the same time. Um Stick but to if, playing drums, buddy. Yeah, he's playing drums. He's playing <laughs> drums. He, yeah. Let me tell the jokes, bud. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Same as always. Um, he got a great smile. He's got a. He had a great smile. Mm-hmm. He's doing good. He. Um, something about his hair. Did he have an issue with his hair? I mean, he's probably going bald early. Okay. I mean, it was still there. He he didn't accept it yet. Okay. So yeah, he's just kind of he, playing it out. He went through the windshield. I'm oh. not sure if that's it. He, so maybe that's it. He went through it with his head. Okay, so that's um and then because you were going like this. Yeah. And he went through it and he he was stuck inside mm-hmm. the windshield. Um, they pulled him out, or they tried to pull him out, and he wouldn't go, and he burned. Oh wow! Mm. But oh, he was dead. I mean, supposedly he was dead. Whatever. But again, he wasn't dead when he hit the windshield. So that's what this is. That's what this. He wasn't dead. No, he. I don't think he was dead when he first hit the windshield. He was probably dead when he burnt up, but yeah. he remembers the the hair, the windshield, something hitting. Mm-hmm. You know, he might have been half here and half there. You do kind of go back and forth sometimes. Um, well, we don't forget you here. You know, we yeah. even have an award named after him. Really? Oh, that's cool. A that Chris good. Pinger Award. I'm not sure if you saw that. Your dad gives it out, bud. So did you... Did you he did. Did you, did you see that? He just wants to say yes. Okay. All right. So, um, he keeps backing up over here by the magazine. What is it? That's him. Oh, he's over there? Yeah. He just walked over there. Yeah, he Whoa. just walked over there. You see? Yeah. yeah. He sees too. Yeah, dude. I tell you that all the time. You never pay. Is attention. it Chris? Do you remember Chris? Yeah, it's. He was trying to come through right away, and that's why I mentioned the lights. Uh-huh. As soon as she lifts the veil, it, it's like imagine like when you see those stages and the and the the, the fog kind of rolls in slowly. Mm-hmm. It was like that, and when the lights would flash crazy like that, it was like chopping the water. It was creating this this image of not being able to Distorted. to come through. Yeah. And then it would stop, and then it would do it again, and we'd have a problem, like interference. So he came through, and he's kind of like in the corner over here looking at you, trying to get your attention, and then she's channeling all that, and he's just like, oh, okay, I'm going to make contact with her. So, it, But then she was standing right there, and then he just kind of stepped back and looked over there and yeah. walked to the corner. <laughs> yeah, he said that. And he's like, he, he actually literally turned around and went to the corner. Yeah, he did. Do you know what's over there in that corner? No. Yeah, Chris Brang. No, behind <laughs> Chris Brang is his, is 
Chris Pinger's drum head. That's what it is. Because oh. he turned around to look like he's going to go grab something. Yay. His drum head's back there. It has his picture in it. That is awesome. hanging that up in the studio. I just get goosebumps all over the place. Yeah. So he's, yeah. Look at that. He's, yep. he's, he's loving this. He is loving this. So the, the drum head is in that corner. Yeah, I will get it if you want me to. <laughs> Chris, went, you see, you see how straight it went that way? That's why, he, 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 that's why it went there. Literally, he was standing there and he just turned yeah. around like he's going to go do something. Okay, so. But there was a wall blocking him. Yeah, he's like, that what the hell is this? Walk all through walls. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, it's his stuff. It's his stuff. Do you, do you want me to give it away to somebody? Do, do you want him to give it away? No. You want us to hang it up somewhere? Yeah, yeah, you got it, dude. Ooh. <laughs> that made full contact. Yeah. He's got like I'm a hug. It right yeah. now. It's cool. He's like, yeah, guys. Chris, can you get it out the drum head? It's in that. It's like a a metal thing. Yeah. And put yeah, it right yeah. next to the 360 yeah. on the yeah, table. He's, 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 he's doing There's his a, production stuff over there. Oh, we know what's really cool about him? He's making it cooler over here. Yeah. I just got oh, this good. show. I was like, yeah. oh, Breeze, come on. It's right there. Hold on. I'll get it. Yeah, I get it. He's, cool. He's he's loving this. Did you saw what this was? That's awesome, Patty. Thank you for having him come through. It was he the one that came out first? Yeah. He's the first one that. He was the first one that came, and then there's somebody else who goes. I'm 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 trying to figure out if the oh, the one who came was like attached a... not attached to him, but didn't want him to talk. Or that's just somebody different. Mm. There's a big cold spot right here. It's really cold. Yeah, I feel it coming from this side too, from where he is. Yeah, but I don't know if this is the same. I don't. This is not Chris. This is somebody else. Maybe it's at the. Maybe that's the, the one, us to talk. Because it's like cold. My pants when I'm touching them feel cold. Uh. Sweet. So. It's back there. Somewhere. Oh, now he just kicked oh, you. Wow. He's like, dude, get my crap. Look at him. That's a lot, Chris. <laughs> dude, that is not, that's not OSHA approved at all. Yeah. <laughs> he Jeez. definitely opened the veil more. He yeah, the literally. Veil more. Yeah. He'll take down the walls so you get to the damn yeah. drum head. It's like, there you go. I, I know it's back in that area. I know 100% it's there. I'll, uh, I'll we'll, get it at we'll the end of the show. It would be more hilarious that, if you would have felt that. Down. That is fun. That is good. <laughs> um, so there was somebody else? Yeah, there is somebody else who... Is, he doesn't... Want, I'm trying to figure out, and I'm trying to keep it out of my left brain, figure it out, that he he doesn't want to talk. Or I'm trying to figure out if he doesn't want Chris to talk or he doesn't want me to talk or somebody else to talk. But I think he doesn't want Chris to talk. They came in at the same time. Why? But who is this? Is it jealousy, maybe? It was Chris with someone in the car? Yeah, but no one else passed away, just Chris. Everyone had their seatbelt on. Except okay. for Chris. So, so Chris, d d cross on yes. Do you know this other person who's who seems to be kind of with you? Yeah. Is he from our community? Is he from the, the community? No. Is somebody you met since you crossed over? Somebody you met since crossed over? Huh. Somebody you knew from before? Is it a family member? Ooh, goosebumps. It's a family member. Okay. An uncle? Yeah, okay. Yeah, something like an oh. uncle. Ooh, goosebumps big time. I'm cold. This is so great. I'm Maybe so you hot. Had you know, <laughs> I'm freezing now. It's like cool. Know, what? cold. You know who the uncle is? Uh-uh. I don't know. He's dressed different. That's why I was wondering if they from the same time area, time period. He's dressed differently. Yeah, he doesn't look. He's dressed different than like how we're dressed, kind of t-shirts and casual. Okay, so uh, uncle person, will will you talk to us? Mm -mm. Okay. Is he trying to protect Chris? He's not going to talk to us. He doesn't think Chris should be wasting his time doing this. So, so Chris, can you speak about who this person is? Kind Ooh, of. Yeah, he's like, yeah. Yes. Kind of, yeah. I, I think 
you did nail it on a kind of a cross between jealousy and the not want to waste your time off this. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he came up with some kind of a a judgmentally religious somewhere. It got again. It, it might go back a ways. Um, that maybe didn't completely approve of Chris or something, and not completely approving of this. Hmm. But I, I mean, he's not evil or anything like that. He's just, just kind of an uncle figure. Yeah, yeah he doesn't want him to talk. So, Chris, you know, you don't have to hang out with him if you don't want to. He's, he's okay. He's okay. Hmm. Is that what Chris said? He's okay. Yeah. That sounds like how he would talk too. Does it? Okay. He's okay. He's okay. Like, he sort of knows then. That means he knows that mm, yeah. he's, he's a dick, true. but whatever. It's yeah, fine. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. He's a relative. So yeah, you, love a them, you love him regardless. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's what he's showing. That's so, cool. But, but we, who, the other, this uncle person, we don't want anybody being limited here. So, you know, this is still is our realm of existence. So. So don't keep Chris from talking or anybody else from talking, even if you don't necessarily approve of this. I'm feeling the same thing on my back. Yeah. Like t pressure. Yes. On yeah. this side. It's our same side. Yeah. Exactly. Where, yeah. I'm not. Bo I'm, I, I know you're I not. promise I'm not joking I'm or like trying to just play it up for the air or anything like that. I was when you were like, oh, if you feel this right yeah. here, I was like, oh. I was like, I shouldn't say nothing. Maybe it was going to say something weird. But that, well, you did that. It's, I, I, yeah. I'm my son and yeah. I'm my kids. Yeah. That is exactly what's it, happening that, to me. That's what yeah. happens. It's, it's real. You don't have to convince me. You can okay. convince everybody else. <laughs> but yeah, so whether pressure, whether that's how this other guy passed away or he's got a hold on something. I mean, I think when you started, the temperature in the room definitely got colder. Because yeah, it was always hot in here, and since you start, since you opened the veil, it, the degrees in here. Oh yeah, definitely I'm, gotten, it's I'm a little really chilly. Cold. Yeah. Right, yeah. Look, right over here, it's like this guy's like standing on the side of the wall, trying to be out of the way. And Is there just, a lot of people in here? I just feel this cold. Um, there's a few people here. There's a few people here. We're going kind of. Why is everybody feeling here? cold? Okay. And I'm feeling hot. So I, I, I feel cold. It. I feel cold. I so, feel cold. So so. You want to switch? Where's Uncle? Yeah. He's just moving back and forth. He's trying it's to like move? right here. Yeah. This is where the cold spot, I'm just, it's like my arm is just, my elbow is just feeling colder. He, he's, he's, he, you know, he's, he's not a bad guy, just kind of a curmudgeon, if that makes sense. Well, I'm saying that's why I don't think he's dressed the same way. He's not like laid back like us. He's more, try to be more sophisticated and serious. Is he a religious kind of person? Huh? Is he a religious person? He might be. He said nice to you because he didn't want to get too close to Pat. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you want to sit over here? Come on. It's cold here, too. Feel that. Go ahead, Pat. Touch it. Yeah. Pat, stop touching it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just in case. There is a girl. We'll let them sit until he doesn't want to talk and Chris is doing great. Um... There's a girl. Yeah, showing herself youngish. Youngish. I mean, not like a baby or anything, but probably 20s, smallish. Like, she's like a fangirl. She's like a, I mean, not quite a groupie, but she's, she's a, a fangirl. Mm. Um, small frame, small girl. Um, She's just grinning ear to ear. She's kind of literally cross-legged on the floor. So. Does she have blue hair and glasses? I can't see her hair. She has glasses. She has glasses. Did you know a blue hair glasses girl? I do know a blue hair glasses girl. but Hopefully she's, she's still alive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you haven't talked to her in the last couple hours? Yeah. Okay, so she has glasses and blue hair. Okay, She's yeah. got a cute little hair. She's kind of almost like a 
Bob Burnett. Sounds like someone Tim would know. Yeah, Tim. Something you want to tell us? Mm -mm. Not me. Does anybody know um, anybody? Short hair. You might not have known. Yeah, bobbed hair, like flat. Mm -hmm. Not real short, but like, you know, shoulder length, mm -hmm. head of bob. What is her race? She's light skinned, so she, she, uh, she's very see through. <laughs> she sometimes you get color. She's, uh, she's got glasses. I want to say mousy, but I don't want to make it sound like it's a, it's an insult. But she's kind of a simple plain girl. But she's just happy to be here. So I would say that she's like a fan or what music or a music fan or somebody who who hang who who gets to hang out. So, hey girl, is, is that who you are? Do you like do you like the guys here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um so are are you a music fan? A little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Little play bit. music? Comedy? 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 Uh, yeah. Dancing? I and not yeah, well, dancing. I said dancing, should I? Kind of that. Probably really early 20s. Who does she know here? Yeah, oh, good question. All right. <clears throat> okay, so, all right. girl cross leg. Who, who do you know here? Or who, who is it that, you're, that you're, you're, you're here the favorite for? Everybody? Is she saying everyone? Is she still deciding? She's looking oh, around. <laughs> She's looking around. It's like really cold right here, too. I don't know what's happening. Is it you? No. I don't know. Oh, is it? I don't think it's you. She's, it's, it does feel like she's looking around. Yeah. She just went all over the room. So are you just a fan of, of this, the show, these people here? Are you a fan of, of what this is in itself? That's a hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holler. Yeah. So, were you a fan of the show? Did you like watch the show? Yeah. Big goosebumps. Oh, wow. Okay. So, whether it's music, whether it's comedy, she. Could it have been someone that just watched the show as a fan? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, one of our only views is gone. <laughs> yeah. one, of our, one of our viewers are just dead. No wonder <laughs> we went from four to three. <laughs> I was just going to say that, dude. That's funny. Yeah, you, you can't kill them all off, but then they yeah. hang out, but then they can't, you know. Yeah. Um, okay. Can you hit that like and subscribe button? I was going to say Our psychics are we're, we're all wide open right now, dude. Yeah, man. I was going to say that. It's so funny. Okay, so can, can you... Get, can, can you uh, did you like and subscribe at some time? Yeah. Good yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you. You can hang out anytime. Look at this. She's she is just loving good. us. Good. That's awesome. It's like it's like <laughs> yeah. We need more I, of that. But I would yeah. guess I don't know if she's hung out before because this looks feels like very first time. Like you know if you like you go backstage to something and and maybe because we lifted the veil maybe because maybe people on the other side watch your show you know who's why not? Well, someone's got to watch it. Well, there's 19.1. That'd be awesome. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Stefan brings some like spirit like viewers to the show. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I it, do that when would... I go to investigations and nothing's happening. I'll bring in a couple of backup ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm so successful at it. It's like, dude, I need some help. Go in there. Shop, shop, shop. Yo, I got some executives coming in. Can you do something? So if she would, again, no time and space. I'm. I'm just spitballing here, but if she's part of this, and then we said we invited spirits, mm -hmm. she would be like, "Hell yeah, I'm gonna come and sitting right cross-legged on the floor." All right. Okay, so can you give us? Can you give us your name? Oh, what is this name thing? Um, did you did you live in California? 
No. Are you from Australia? No. No. Did you live in Nevada? That's what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. Nevada. Mm -hmm. Do you have a big audience in Nevada or a small? We will now. We, we um we did a show out there in Vegas. We did the Vegas show, remember? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Maybe that's where she came we from had, originally. She's like, oh, these so guys did are you come to Alien Ant Farm on that show. We had Buck Cherry on that show. Like we really had a great show. Did you did you come to the Vegas show? Yeah. So if she was in the audience and there's and then here she is and are, we invited her was, in. Are were you a did you work at the show? Was she? Was she, she worked at the show? Monster headphones. Monster headphones. No. No. Hmm. You were was, there. Yeah. Was she one of the? Mo remember those? Monster. No, no, no. Those mod. Oh, those girls were part of the monster. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm... The monster models. Yeah. Were you a model? Can you bring more spirit friends to watch our show? <laughs> Hook us up, please. Yeah. Um, she's well, she's, she's the, yeah. the only spirit super fan she works with. Yeah. yeah. All to yourself. That's cool. Yeah, she said yes. Yeah. She's a super, yeah. She kept to herself. So that makes sense because I did see, I saw Vegas, I saw Nevada. So that's cool. Nice. So you can, you can have your own groupie ghost. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those count as followers, what, right? Yeah. Did she do the headphones? Maybe I'm getting the name of the headphones wrong. Is it headphones? Did you work the headphones? Or did, did you work the headphones? Or a vendor? Was she a vendor? She might have been a vendor. Oh, she was with a, a vendor? Yeah. Okay. Did me and you make... Did we talk? Did we make out? Yeah. <laughs> did we uh, make uh, uh, what? Can they, did they make out? <laughs> did, did, you, did you talk? Did you... Oh. Yeah, it was a short conversation. Yeah, he's all, I want a cheeseburger and some fries, please. Thank you. Yeah. No, I, I think, like, now it's, like, flooding back to me. We talked to a girl who I gave the magazines to, and she I gave her a whole box, and she helped us pass them out. Did you help pass out magazine? Yeah. Oh, wow. That was her. Wow. Do we, it was me I and you. Do we know if she's since then passed? Well, I mean, well, obviously. obviously yeah, yeah, I know. Well, she but she could like, be I'm projecting. Let's not just, put that out. I'm just saying, like, factually, would we know? Would, you, was there any way? To find out. This is how we're finding out. Is... Yeah. Okay. Okay. We... So, yeah. So, Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, so, if, um, how long ago was your show? 2018. 18, 19, 19. So, three years ago? April 2019. 18. Okay. So, um, did you pass recently? Did you pass? Recently? Yeah. COVID? Did you pass COVID? Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Wow. Bummer. Wow. And young. Young. Was a girl you talked to young-ish? 20. Yeah. I mean, maybe you're saying 20. 20. I'm thinking 18. Girl could be 18. Well, then I'm that 19. makes sense because she's just a person. Uh, so she she'll she'll be 20. Yeah. It'll be 20, yeah. It's very birthday. Okay, so... So are you okay on the other side? Yeah. Yeah, she gets to hang out with us. Yeah, she's hanging hang out here. Out. Now you get to go to the studio. Now you get to go all the way in. <laughs> Does she frequently hang out with us? Have you? Do you have you? Have you? Do you frequently hang out with them? No. Have you hung out with them before? Will you hang out with us? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Again, this is probably the first time she was invited. Mm. You're invited anytime, sweetheart. Huh? Like you literally took the box from me. Let me. I mean, I'm, if you're the same girl, you saved me from a bunch of work of passing out the magazines. Oh, just I appreciate if that's it. That's the girl. Is there the girl? Oh, are you the girl that we met with? I think she. She did. did. Oh yeah. She did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There you go. She did. So okay. So again, we invited in spirit, and she came. That's, that's cool. crazy. That is crazy. Does she want to tell you her name? Okay. Will Will you tell us her name? Yeah, she will now. She's just a, a, a little quiet. Shiny. Let me write it down. She what will. I think I remember. Okay. Spelt like that, too, I think. Something like that. I don't remember. I, I'm vaguely remembering that. And You know what? Something just came in my head and told me that. 
Maybe it was her. Because I'm getting a name too. That's why I'm asking. An A? No, I'm getting her name. Wait, my name. Shut up. No. And it's spelled. Hold on. It's not like how it sounds. Or what do you. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. And it's exact. That's not how you normally spell that name spell either. That way. And he's ca- calling it too. Okay, dude. <laughs> Yeah. An A, I, A, A. A, it's A? Ri- no, it's an it's a na- it is written down as an A name. You said A. You're I saying it's A. spelt na- wrong. Yeah, it's like you, you know the name, but it's like spelled differently, so it's like kind of weird. But it's cool. Ashley with the I E. Ash Ashley. So is it Ashley with an I E? Yeah. Wow. Hey. wow! Look at that! Look it how is, psychic it, you are. No, I'm not. Don't no, wait, that. don't say that you're not because you said you felt something. If, you, if you're putting your impressions, in. that's what it's all show about, dude. That's how we show do the this. Camera that I didn't just... It'll... No, the camera won't grab it. it the, the lighting's not right for it. No, no, no the no, lighting's just going, not right for it. Okay, dude. Well, it's right there. It's, it's, yeah. That's crazy. See? I mean, you've been feeling stuff this whole time. Yeah. That's nuts. That is very cool. That was a good, that was a good, what you did when you wrote it down. Yeah, writing down is really good. And that's a good thing. A lot of people, a lot of mediums, a lot of psychic, they, they write too. It, it, um, she's just happy to be here and she'll gladly come back. I come back anytime. Yeah. So she's, We've got she's plenty good. of magazines to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She used to like magazines. <laughs> 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 Oh man! Do we have anybody else here, or do we? Does she still want to talk? If you, if you still she's, want to she's just hanging out. She's just hanging yeah, out. Yeah, tell her she stop just... hogging it. Okay, so what? She's waiting for something else. else to happen. She's like, okay, and now what are you guys gonna do? Like, what's the next like, uh, thing? Uh, just keep some, it on. Somebody. It's got. It, we're talking about ears because you went to headphone. There's somebody putting a lot of pressure on ear my ears. So I don't know if they're playing with my ears or something they had something with their ears or I think they had <laughs> I think hmm. they had something done to their ear. either they didn't like their ears or they had their ears fixed.
their ears fixed? Like made flatter or something? Can you make them flatter? Mm -hmm. You can do anything. Yeah. That's true. Hmm. <laughs> so, okay, so do you... Ear person... <laughs> ear <Yes>. person? <laughs> oh, wow. Uh. Are you feeling something, Susan? Uh, I'm fine. Okay. Just so, am, am I am I feeling this correctly that your consciousness about ears and insecurity about ears and fixing of ears and ears? Yeah. Okay. So do you do you know somebody here? No. Another fan. Okay. Well then. Then you could go sit down. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Thanks yeah. for hanging out. You can yeah. pass out some magazines friend. if you like. Yeah. You take take a magazine. This girl over here will fan the Hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Nineteen point one. Yeah, I think just again, you're gonna pick up stuff passing through. We tried to be a little bit careful, but since there's people all over. Right. Again, it's like a a, a welcome, an open sign, a welcome sign. But that was a trip. Is Paul still hanging out with me? Is he over here? Oh, no. He doesn't have to. He probably just jammed over. Is, is Paul still hanging out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. I lost all that weight, brother, so there you go. Okay, so what, let's talk to Paul. Can we talk to Paul? Yeah, let's talk to Paul. Yay. <laughs> he, uh, he is very proud of you. Oh, thank you. Good. He is very proud of you. I'm proud of you too. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. And um, something, are you doing something with your fingers or your nails or did? Not, I don't think so. Fingers and nails. Yeah, you got something weird with your fingers? Uh, did he? He, he does he does he used to make fun of me because um oh, wow that's crazy he used to make fun of me because i used to like really have really dirty nails that's it because i was gonna because <laughs> i was like picking at nails yeah he he would he would tell well they're clean now but uh he and i usually every time i see if they're get if, i get self-conscious about it now and so i look at it and uh, he used to say you could grow corn in your nails because it's so dirty when i was younger <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's what he's doing. Oh man! So he's proud of you. You lost weight and you clean your nails. Yeah. So that's because that's, that's what I was. Yeah. It was like I was like. I'm know, super like, self-conscious about him now because ever since he told me when I was younger, he would he would tell me like, "Why are your nails always so dirty?" And it he's was just a savage. Yeah, he didn't mess around. He would always tell me how it is, and he would just say, uh, "Yeah, you should clean your nails. Like you could grow corn in them." Yeah. <laughs> that's funny that's wild that is wild oh, that's so wild. that's what that is so he is obviously here something you want to ask him or tell him oh i'm just glad he's with me because i mean it, it, he's one of the major motivations of why like when we had that talk the first time he you know he, he was there was, there was a concern of of weight and the health and everything and, no. and that that definitely was one of the main tim even brought it up he even told me like dude you need to if you're not doing what you need to do now you know remember that with Patty and Paul, and so um, I'm always it's always a conscious decision. When every time I'm at the gym, I always think about him, and, and now mostly more Dennis because he makes fun of my weight. But uh, <laughs> but, but but yeah, I, my brother definitely was one of my major motivations to get back in there and lose some weight. So I, I'll probably, thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, he's good. He is good. He um yeah, the nail thing that was funny. Yeah, that's he's that he he's a he, he go he, he he's been to the gym with you. Has he? Yeah. Good. I like I feel it. I yeah, do. I, yeah, that's what he said. He said that you know it. I know. I do. There's one. Well, it's a weight or something, a machine kind of by a wall. Okay. That you, is there like a wall you kind of look at? Not you're not not consciously. It's like you're staring at a wall. There is a wall that I look at. Yeah. Yeah. He's is he just, hanging he's, out with her? Yeah. That's he's funny. by that wall. That's funny. Which yeah, is there's probably a... why you're looking at that wall. You don't even know it. It is funny. It is. Yeah, because I always look at that wall. It's really... That's weird. Tell, what is it, dude? It's just... There's there's racks. And usually there's these squat rats. And usually all these hot girls go there when they do their squats. <laughs> but I don't even look... I don't even look at the... I look at that corner because at the corner there's like mm -hmm. a... It's a weird corner. And there's, there's, a, there's a paper towel machine. But every time I'm like done with the rep and I look around, I always end up glancing at that corner for whatever reason. Just... 
just look at it. And I look at it and I'm just like, oh, well. I, and then I go, I plan out the next time I go over there, okay, I need to do that rack or I need to go over there. And then when I do tr I do my traps, there's the, the assisted uh, bars. And every time I'm done, I always, and there's a TV there, but I always look at that corner for whatever yeah. reason. It's so weird. That's so crazy. That's because he's there. That's, oh, well, there you go. So, yeah, that's what So I know said. that corner in my room. Look at. The wall and you the look corner at. In the, yeah. And the corner in the gym. He's right there. So he out. likes corners. He likes corners. He likes corners. He's all, two more. Come on, let's yeah. go. <laughs> uh, nice, dude. Uh, so, any, anything else you want to say to him? Just, or? I mean, thanks for being out. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, yeah. I'm not, I, I, you know, I feel him every time. Like, I, it's nice to know that he's around. He's around. He is definitely around. Um, yeah, he's kind of, he keeps throwing up things that I don't know what it means, and I don't know what it means. <laughs> Something about socks? Socks. <laughs> That's Isaac. <laughs> you starching the socks, bro? No. I never, I didn't even know what that was until, like, later, later in life. Oh, like, wait, what is that? Oh, people do that? Smiling socks. I don't know about socks. That's interesting. My, uh, maybe with my uh, my sister and my family, like they'll know. Like, did you guys talk about Paul? They'll probably end up figuring out. They'll what the figure socks, it yeah, out. Yeah, they'll figure it's, out. Usually comes later. So yeah. again, he just it just pops up. Little, right. In this thing. So the I, one I got I, the the instant one was the nails because I knew I was thinking like wait nails and then it I was like oh wow that's cr that's in, that's insane that's crazy <laughs> that's crazy yeah. yeah but I don't know about socks so. he likes your makeup. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, it's funny, like, he, he, he actually was the first person to put makeup on me, he put a mustache and his stuff like that, he was very, um, very, like, out there when it came to presentation, he was, like, a very, eccentric? like, eccentric, yeah, well, not so much eccentric, but, like, just very, like, you know, entertainer, right, he played with magic and everything, he was very into magic and dressing up and stuff like that, and he always had, like, little things, uh, eccentric, but, you know, yeah, okay, well, sure, eccentric, yeah. <laughs> had a lot of machismo, no, not, well, yeah, he could be, in a sense, yeah, but he was very, like, he, I remember there's a picture of me and my nephew, and uh, I had, like, a, one of those handlebar mustaches when I was younger, and, then, like, a, and I had an eye patch, and I was, like, Zorro and stuff. You like had that. a Richard Lale? I had a Richard Lale. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Richard Lale. Richard those are Lale. good, those are good ones to get. My hard man, to maintain, Richard. though. Yeah. He has to work hard at that, Richard. Oh, I, yeah. I used to have one of those, and it didn't work out for me that long. But he busts to, his balls too much. Yeah. I mean, I, I could still, if I did, I could probably do it a little bit, but I let the professionals take care of it. Which will <laughs> look way better in, in a handlebar mustache than I can. Did he sing? He had, he would sing sometimes. He was very, he loved music. He did like music. <coughs> he, he introduced me to a lot of music uh, before he passed, but yeah, he would sing. Yeah, you might hear him singing sometimes, like in your head. Oh yeah, so that's not that's not far off. Yeah, there's certain songs that do remind me of him. Yeah. Yeah. He used to sing to you. Yeah, he did. See, that's yeah. cool, man. That's cool, older brother. Yeah. He did. Yeah, that he, is very. He, cool. he very he took he was very protective of me when I was because there's a big age gap, right? So he was 29 and I was about. Yeah, you're like his little little brother. Yeah. That's cool. So yeah, that that's 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 my brother. Okay. And an ice cream cone. Probably thrifty's ice cream. He would take me to get some thrifty ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. It's the best. That is some thrifty good ice, ice cream. Are amazing. Yeah, he would take me to get thrifty ice cream. Yeah. I think his, I think his, um, his partner worked at a thrifty's, um, and he would get pogs and ice cream from that. So yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. He's just showing me little things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that meant a lot to him. You know. Oh yeah, and it, I mean obviously, yeah, obviously that means it meant when you say those things. I mean, I mean those were amazing memories when I was growing yeah. up. Absolutely. And I can, I know that something else drives you, you know, and, and I'm sure like, you know, your fascination with MJ, mm -hmm. your fascination with, like, with certain music, mm -hmm. it, like, it's just. Well, I do, most of the, more, a lot of the motivation of me doing what I'm doing now is because I know he wanted to do that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? He wanted to be a radio. He wanted to be a disc jockey. He wanted, he, 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 he liked to dress up. When I, when I look at Richard. It reminds me a little bit because he used to he used to work in a, uh, in a suit factory and he used to drip, sell formal formal. So he dressed wear. nice and, and stuff. AC That's cool. Formal wear. He used to work in Oxnard back in the Bound Fifth Street. He used to like be the manager of AC Formal Wear back in the day, and he was a Jehovah Witness, so he would always have suits and he was always like the best looking one at the church. You know, the kingdom hall. He had like these nice suits. So I always liked that fashion, and I know he wanted to do stuff in entertainment, and I know he wanted to be a disc jockey, so, like, that made me want to do it, too, because he was, like, my biggest role model, right? He was yeah. like, the one I looked up to. So when, 
when I got out of like in the religion and I knew you know I could do whatever I wanted because when you're in a certain religion they try to control you and now you can't do this. Yeah, the brainwashing. Part so then when I left and I started learning my own, I go, well, why can't I do that as a living? Why can't I do that regardless? And so I was like, I do most of the stuff I do, I kind of do it for him as well because I know that that's what he wanted to do. So and I and I fell in love with what I did, like what I do now. So I do that because he motivated me and because. A little bit. I'm living. Wanting, I'm living it because he couldn't do it. You know what I mean? Because he didn't get a chance to do it. So, that's what. That's the mo- That's one of the major motivations. Of what I do. What I do. That's awesome, man. That is good. That's, that's awesome. Good. So, and he hang. Good job. So, all right. Somebody else want to ask for somebody specific? I have a question. I I, I don't. Or let me go. Go. You go. Uh, I have a friend. Uh, he recently passed away in a car accident. Uh, I'm just curious to know how he's doing. Um, if he's watching over his mom and, uh, he, his father passed when he was young. And one of the wishes was that he's at least a week before he passed. He said, you know, out of all things I want, I, I, I wish I was with my dad. Oh. And then a week later, uh, he passed in a car accident and, um, yeah, his ashes are with his mom. A part of me doesn't want to bring this up because I don't want to disturb what he's doing, his journey that he may be on, you know? How long ago did he pass? Uh, this was in February of oh, this year. Oh, then it's year. long enough. Yeah. Okay, so long as it's over 40 days. Okay. Is there uh, a reason why it's like... 40 days is the transition period. It's actually astrological. It's a planetary movement. It's also biblical. Mm. You know, Moses, 40 days. Noah, 40 days. Moses, 40 days. Jesus, 40 days. It, it's an astrological thing. You go from here to there in 40 days. Mm. So you go from the life plane to the death plane. And I don't know exactly what you're doing in that 40 days, but I, I've, I never try to contact anybody. And that's when you do a dumb supper mm. after the 40, the backwards dinner, because yeah. it shows it's for them. And they'll come. You know, you start with dessert, then you have the main course, yeah. end up with the super salad course. Should I, I don't want to take away from but should, really quick, so I remember, should I do that for Paul, Why with Paul, at least? You could do that with Paul. Yeah. You do that with anybody. It could be 40 years. It doesn't have to be, as long as it's more than 40 days. Somewhere in the dinner, goes, everybody goes silent, and they'll communicate with each person to your own comfort level. And then, especially if it's recent or you've still got too much grieving going on, at the end of the dinner, which is the beginning of the dinner, because you're up to super salad course, you say goodbye to the fleshly body because this is the one thing you can't have back. This, this meat suit, soul lives, spirit lives, but this doesn't. So in living people, we're connected heart to heart to heart to heart. You know, I cut the cords, no strings attached. When somebody passes, that has to be cut. And now it's like a third eye, spirit to spirit. So instead of your dead brother, it's your spirit brother. And you could have a better relationship that you can have. Mm. So it's done in a lot of countries except ours. Even done some Christian, even some Orthodox, even some, um, a bunch of different religions, but we just don't do it here. We so, do it at Harvest. Uh, yeah. yeah. For, for the so for celebration. Your, so for your friend, you wanted to know what, if he's if he's being taken care of? or Yeah, you know, if he's... Yeah, so, so and what's his first name? Eric. Eric, okay. So we do want to invite him in the spirit of Eric. How did he die? Did he have his breath taken away somehow? Uh, it was his from the reporter from what my because my friends were there. They he crashed in front of my friends, and so my friends had to go to the car. Uh, they opened the door, and um, I guess what they think what happened is he didn't have his seatbelt on. Uh, his neck hit the steering wheel, and immediately like he couldn't talk, he couldn't breathe. That's yeah, nice. and 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 he was Shit. trying to Shit. he was trying to utter words, uh, to I have goosebumps. Yeah. Yeah, that's the first thing I got. Was, so, so he was mm. trying to. So he he is there and he is fine, and I mean it's not even just ironic that he's going to be with his dad. It was his time to be with his dad. He really did want to be with his dad. You know, not that he wanted to die, not that there is anything on purpose, but some spirits, we do just have these paths. Hmm. I'm, it's, it's weird because out of the whole night, I'm getting this overwhelming feeling right now. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's like coming from it's the back of my head here, to yeah. to my eyes. It's because it's, it's your person here. I'm I'm. It's like I'm zoning out of everything. Mm -hmm. Weird. So th this was hard, that, that wanting to communicate, wanting to breathe, wanting to speak, but he couldn't. But he is fine. He, um, he is with his dad, and he's with a dog. Hmm. It might have been a dog from childhood. And he's kind of going like this. He's almost like reliving part of his childhood. That's that's when I met him. Okay. When, when we so were maybe in, that's what he's showing for you. He's we you know were, how kids run like this and mm -hmm. do. Or like he's treading water. Or something. Maybe, but it feels it it maybe doesn't it feels positive, not like like, he, like he's drowning or something. He's going like this. Almost like he's running and playing and he was a very active, uh, definitely a childlike energy about him. Yeah. Um he he interesting is he was a tattoo artist, but he was like he can do like portraits and like a Renaissance art. Like he could he could do like Michelangelo wow. uh with no one taught him how to do it. You know, he was one of those. So when you say like angel almost, mm -hmm. yeah. the last tattoo he did was a baby angel. Wow. So I just that, got goosebumps there. Yeah. yeah. So again, and even if somebody hired him to do that, it, this is all like foreshadowing stuff. This is all stuff he was going and he's like, I'm an angel. It's better there. And, and however he's seeing it, total goosebumps. Uh, That's crazy. Like when you said... I was like, no, don't, please don't. Because this is, like, too real. It was almost too exactly. You can, like, you can go and look it up. Look up the... It happened on the... The 126? Mm -hmm. wow. Go look it up. In February car accidents, 126. Wow. There's no bullshit around. I mean, that is... Blows my mind. And it was... I'm wow. Like, and she was just... It was the first thing because she was trying to breathe. Like, yes. She, I was seeing her having trouble breathing. They show, they show you. Do you want to ask him something, dude? It's like your shot. I mean, you know, we, we were good friends. I just want to make sure that, like, uh, you know, I know I know he's doing his his job or, like, his work. Like, I know he's watching over because, you know, there's three friends that were there. One of the friends was holding his head up trying to, like, you know, they're waiting for the ambulance to come. The ambulance showed up and they were attending the other people in the accident. And my friends were like, like, he's turning blue. Like, like, what do you open? And my two friends ripped the front door open, like, wow. wh which would have taken like jaws of life to take the open the door. They ripped the door open. Uh, one of the, the other friends on the passenger side holding his head up. The other friend is like, like, you know, frantically, like, can you help this guy too? Like, is it possible? And, um, you know, I just fear, you know, I know his mom's going to be fine because his mom's went through her husband passing, um, her son passing. I think she, they had like an uncle, uh, you know, they, she has a lot of, um, death that surrounds her. So, you know, with that being said, I know she's going to be fine. Right. Mm -hmm. But I'm worried about my three friends who are our peers, who one of them was the best friend that like grew up with him and they did it. They called every morning, FaceTime every morning. And I'm just concerned for their, you know, well, be or, you know, how do you, how do you, how do you move forward in yeah. life when like this person that you, you know, right. are living it with is now just absolutely gone. You do a dumb supper. Okay. It's in the book. You do a dumb supper because then he could be the spirit friend. He can't be, he's. The, the dead friend this this is gone yep. and and it really helps the grieving and it really helps to let go you know you guys can do it pizza around whatever whoever was there those best friends you can guide them through it you know it could be really casual you just have to do it backwards because the other side is reversed it's mirror image and he'll know it's for him you could set up a, a glass for him you could set a place for him and he'll come he'll yeah. come he'll know it's for him and then he might whisper to each person their own whatever. 
or or talk to the group. But that is how you go on. You just you go on. And especially he gave those little clues like I want to be with my dad. So no, it's part of a greater plan. Whatever whoever made that that greater plan. Mm-hmm. Did he ever talk about getting old? Um, not, no, he never, he was never, the future was never really there for him. It was like, uh, worrying about what he's doing in the next couple of days, not the grand, not the big plan or anything right. like that. Right. Cause he wasn't going to have one. Living for the moment. Yeah. And that's, that's how he was. And that's kind of how he got in that accident was, you know, the, the, the chain of events, you know, that, that led up to him doing that, it was all a live-in-the-moment style. Right. And so that's what he was meant to do, and that's what he did, and that's how he lived, and that's how he died. And, yeah, he, he didn't, like, I'm going to settle down and have 2.7 children and, you know, move to... He didn't see it. He wanted mm. to see his dad. He, he, Not probably on a conscious level. He, he wanted all that, but that, like, one of our friends, they had, like, a toast because it was his birthday... And he had mentioned, like, you know, all this is great, but, you know, I miss my dad. You know, that was, like, the yeah. defining... That's what a lot of people take from that evening with him is that he wanted to be with his pops. Like, that was, you know... And his pops passed when, uh, I think he was a freshman or sophomore in high school. So, a real critical time to, right. you know, lose that. For somebody per- to lose that, yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah. Uh, a, a, a quick little in- interesting thing is that he had an obsession with the number three three three. He tattooed it on himself in, on his like lower abdomen. Um, he saw the number everywhere. Uh, after he passed, we added up his birthday and his birthday, and the numbers are thirty three. <laughs> so I, I I don't know. Is there anything significant with? Um, yeah, numbers you, are a language. I I don't keep it all in my head, but three, three, three. When you see that, uh, people some people call them angel numbers. Some people call them everybody doing the one, one, one. Now, ooh, angel, you know, make a wish, do one, 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 three, three, three. Somebody will know what specifically what you can look it up. But what it is, numbers are a language. They're a universal language. It's it's actually getting stronger all the time. Uh, it's literally what's bringing science and spirituality together. That's what getting into quantum mechanics and quantum physics are. It's numbers. Everything's going to come down to numbers. In the beginning, it's whether it's zeros and O's of computer, or in the beginning was the word, and the word was numbers. So, so he maybe he, he had that language, or he saw it, whether he knew it or not. Be, 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 energy, God, spirits, gods will really talk to us if we pay attention to that. So. So that's his number. So now you could want to see him say, you know, give me the 333, give me the this, and you will. No, And that's, oddly enough, that has been absolutely happening between uh, the people that were in the mm-hmm. involved in the accident. Uh, we, like, share with each other every random time that we get a 333. Yeah. Uh, when I bought my car and I parked it at my house, it my mileage was 333. Yeah. Um, you know, just re- really a receipt. Uh, the the change will be three 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 XRP and, when you bought XRP, and it'll and it'll be all around something that kind of has to do with maybe a meal he enjoyed or something like it. Ha- it 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 relates, and it's like one of those you either you either allow it to be something you notice and accept, or you just kind of oh yeah, it's another number, or whatever. But I think. You should be, we should be, I mean, I should yeah, be Yeah, I, th- I think you should too. And he could even give you messages like that. Like, if, three, 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 oh, that's our friend. Three, 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 oh, that's our friend. Three, 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 oh, this is a meal he would have liked. May, I'm just being left brain on this, but this has happened with me with numbers. All of a sudden, maybe if it's three, three, two, all of a sudden, wait, are you jumping the gun on something? Mm. Or oh. two, three, three, four. Oh, wait, did you miss something? Look back. I mean, that's okay. not saying he will do that, but that's one way to look at that language of numbers. Okay. So, Thank you. Yeah. That's freaking awesome. License plates, everything. You'll see it. No, yeah. it's uh, the it's so li- funny. You say license plate on the way to pick up one of my friends to go to a thing for him. The two cars in front of me ha- both had three 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 license yeah. plate number, and it was like I was telling my friend, "Should I pick you up right now? I don't know if I should." 
um, screw it, I'm gonna go get you. And then the two cars in front of me, three, 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 yep. and it, and it, he was one of the guys that was involved like there on scene. So that yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, it's just crazy. it's just just so crazy. It's wow. just weird. He's there. He's good. Well, I I I miss you, Eric, and a lot of people miss you down here. So He's, yeah, something with a nose. Oh. <laughs> I was I was with him in a maybe not nose but I was with him in a fight. He probably got hit in his nose. Uh, we were at his house, and um, he's a very I, I can't explain it, but he's a really like uh, he's really extra when it comes to like competition and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And basically, we're at his house and we're playing beer pong, and money got thrown on the table because this guy is incredible at beer pong. It's just shooting a ball into a cup, mm-hmm. and uh, money got bet. Uh, something happened with a girl and a guy and the guy that was a girl's whatever and this guy ended up punching him and uh in his he got i'm sure he got hit in his nose but i remember his tooth fell like out almost like he was like like wiggling it back and forth and uh i remember he fixed it because he had veneer or like uh what's it called Called, uh, invisalign Invisalign and he's like it's all good don't worry and he pops it in and then his tooth because Invisalign kept his teeth in place, it healed and everything was fine. Wow. <laughs> Save you a trip to the dentist. That's amazing. So maybe that's what it, because they got, showed me something like that. He got hit. But but that was, in recent times, that was when him and I hung out. And, like, he got hit, and I picked him up, and I, like, took him to the bathroom. And, like, we were in the bathroom, and that's when he's looking in the mirror so doing this thing. Busy. And now that's, like, a, a re, that's like a, in recent times, like, I don't want to say intimate, but like, you know, a right. personal moment I had right. with him. That's good. Oh, that's, that's interesting. So, and the other body parts he's showing me is forearm. Does that mean something to you for him? Um, other than tattoos, no. I was just I, thinking tattoos. Thinking yeah, tattoos. he's he's done almost all my friends' tattoos, and, and they're, you know, done on forearms. Uh, we had, him and I had a... a talk about getting a tattoo and that was one of the locations that we were thinking but maybe he wants you to do it maybe i should finish it maybe that's that's what he's planning out yeah that's cool. but that's up to you you don't have to do it he'll be fine if you choose not to no there's so there's a lot of so since he passed a lot of people got that 333 tribute and a lot of people have that on their forearm or wrist and i'm actually like one of the last like few friends who just doesn't have that three 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 tatted on them. So he's telling you. So he's it? going. To, I think eh? I think he's saying, "Hey, you should <laughs> smack that on there." <laughs> oh, yeah, that's funny. So all right, but he's good. He's good. He's good. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. I feel like I don't know. I think I feel your soul like yeah. at ease now. I I'm just uh, happy to know he's you know still being Eric. You know, he's still being Eric. Yeah, he's still being Eric. Yeah, that's. I'm, yeah. I'm happy for you, dude. Uh, yeah. Anybody wants to? Yeah. <clears throat> There's been someone, someone. I I can't, I, I can't describe who it would be, pushing me to keep going forward. Don't stop. Keep going forward. No matter what happens, keep going forward. No, no matter if you get sick or anything keep driving forward there's something that i need to do that i can't think of what it is that i need to do and this person or this whoever it is is pushing me and it won't, won't let me give up even though there's been times when i just want to say i just want to get rid of everything and just give up and just you know be a bum or whatever but it, it won't let me do that it's it's it's, it's hanging there, just just is it, pushing me. I don't know who it is. And, it and feels actually very ethereal to me, almost like not taking form, like almost like an angelic or, or something that's like a, 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 a not a mist, but got light to it, pushing like like you're gonna feel a push to it. I, I think it's like some kind. Could be like some kind of a spirit guide, if you believe in that. It could be. It could be. It's, it's, it, could be I, it doesn't feel like it's a friend or human. It feels higher vibration than that. Higher. It's like a, 
uh, you know, more, again, getting up there into whatever, angelic realm, this realm, something that's it's just like one of your guides. Because something's telling me that there's something I got to do, but I can't come up with the thing that I have to do. I, you know, I get sick, I get cancer and stuff, I get healed right away because there's something I got to do and I can't think of what it is that I have to do. The world greatest segment, baby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're the best. That's what you got to do that, man. Around. Do what, why? No, uh, his segment on the show. Uh, if little... they're being stupid, don't listen. No. No, no, no. What they are saying is, what, everything that you just said, I get cancer, I get healed, I keep moving forward. You have a story, like whether it's a segment of the show or you want to write or have somebody help you write or your perception of things, even how how you see the world isn't like everybody else. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Again, there's a thousand people looking, everybody's looking over here and you're looking over there. That's your magic. So they're pushing you, whatever that thing that you see the world different maybe is what the world kind of needs now as we're going into this new thing. So you've got to get that message out there. It doesn't mean you have to become a event preacher or anything like that, but the thing that makes you you, it doesn't have to be magical or spiritual, anything, that, that keep going thing. It's racism. He's really not supposed to say it on air. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Just joking, joking, Dad. Uh, canceled. <laughs> yeah, Dad's like, be serious right now. <laughs> no, it, it's, it, it's his higher voice. Doesn't it feel literally like pushing you forward sometimes? Yes, literally yes, pushing yes. you forward. Keep going. Don't stop. Yeah. So, yeah, because it, it, it wants you to be here, and it wants you to be inspirational of some sort. I need, I need to know what it is that it wants me to do. It's not telling that's me the what question. it wants me to it do. It wants you to tell, uh, tell I, I a story. I don't know. Oh, well, that's, that's the thing. My she story. Just told you, it's the story. It is your story. Well, what good is that? That's not something that's going to... Maybe to somebody. Yeah, it is. If you tell it to the right person. Yeah. It only Maybe takes one person, a, man. Tim or Even if you Julian touch one person, that's in Even, one person yeah, enough. It, yeah, if, one per, if you touch one person. But however, I mean, not a lot of people say, I get sick, I get healed, I get cancer, I get healed. I don't know any of your history, anything like that. But most people don't get, I get cancer, I give up. I get the, you know, there's a thing. And you're like, it's like the survivor thing. It's like the, and maybe that's what a whole lot of people need right now. Again, it's a thing that makes you different. Your perceptions, good, bad, or indifferent, whatever it is, is the thing that makes you special. How you see things, how you perceive things. Does it make sense to you? No. Because I, 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 I'm still, in my mind, there's something I have to do. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out what it is that I have to do. Well, you got to be more open to things, too, it's a way. Uh, it's, it's, it's What you have to do is... Is let people see who you be, who you are being. I mean, if 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 I translate it, and I don't want to left brain translate it, but it would be write a blog, write a book, write do a show, do a whatever. Inspiration by me. It's it's something weird like that, but not somebody else. Somebody who wouldn't listen to him do inspiration or me do or Stefan. Do. It's the thing that makes you you. You'll understand it tomorrow. It's not like I have to do something. I have to drive to India. I have to go to Buffalo. It, it, it's above. It, it, it's not. It's it's not that. It's that you have to show who you are, what you are, and how you became who you are, and what that is. But in this in this atmosphere here, if I show who I am and what I am and who I who I am, I get made fun of and. and but I still go, and I still drive ahead, and I still try, and I still, I'm still my own person. I still have to. Yeah. But I, but I need to know what I need to, what I have to do. There's something I you, gotta do. You just said it again, and you make fun of, and you remember I said there's 800 people going this way, and you're going that way. You would be the person being made fun of, but the more you go, you know, fuck you, or whatever that is, it's like. Be it's fearless, not going to be that tangible. Does that make sense? Does yeah. that make sense to everybody else? If it not to him, that well, the thing is that he doesn't understand is that he his... wants to be told, do yeah. A, B, C. Yeah. 
Come well, on. instead of, well, I mean, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for an answer. I'm looking for what I have to do. An so answer. <laughs> see, <laughs> look at him look that way. Where I'm looking this way. That's what it is. That express your best, be your best you, and you're going to inspire somebody or lots of somebodies. I, th- I don't think he realizes that uh, out there, all the people that are just like making fun of him on the show, people's favorite part is the interaction between everybody on the show. Like, the, like his every, every time it's, I it's talk to him, it's not just the show. It's, it's, I know, it's but, everywhere. but you can use that as a taking off point to, 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 from, to, to from that right. to, to do other things. Show is a microcosm yeah. of this. And then this could be a microcosm of a bigger thing. Right. So maybe right now, what you're maybe you could reflect from this. Maybe like she said tomorrow, what that would be. Maybe you won't understand that now, but later you understand like yeah. little by little what the bigger scheme of so it is. So if it doesn't make sense to him, does it make sense to other people? Yes. Okay. And, and I, I because he's just when it comes to the show, Dad, you just fuck it, give up. Because and it's, and, it's, and maybe you need to fight back and and tell your story, tell your truth. Just because there's yeah, a lot of yeah. powerful personalities in here doesn't mean that you should just get ran over. Still, do you? That's them pushing you. But it has to be a decision. I think there's something else. I think you are going to do something. I don't think it's time yet, but I think that you need to be ready for it when it does happen just keep pushing forward yeah just stay on track forward. because it's going to hit you and you're like holy shit this is it and, and again you're gonna go and then th- where you march on is when they make fun of you or again you're not going with that same pattern of everybody else and you want to just say fuck it or whatever no they're pushing me forward it's not them that's pushing me it's something else that's pushing me Okay. And I don't. No, it's it's, it's, it's a, no. I by them I meant spirit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not them. <laughs> no. I meant, again, I meant again, the guy behind back. you. Not the, the misfits. Energy yeah. <laughs> you. The L- literal energy behind you, and it doesn't even have to take form. It's not like Uncle Bob or something. It's much higher vibration than mm. that. I'm so glad we didn't have another guest on the show. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Ah, sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, anybody else? Before we... I have... I do have one thing. Okay. We've had a couple psychics come through. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, especially Wendy Hannigan. She had brought up to... That she's seen a baby in her house. The ba- The only baby I can think of is a miscarriage that me and my wife had. Mm-hmm. And... Um, do we tell him to go? Or does he want to be here? He, no, he was supposed to be a spirit baby. He's not stuck. He's not a shade. Um, I I see him older because to me, when somebody's a baby, whether they're miscarried, whether aborted, whether they die stillborn, whether they die almost anything under a year, they show themselves a little older because otherwise, how are you being... Like a baby, they're gonna show themselves like two or something. Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, two. you show themselves too. So yeah, and that's what they do. So a mere carriage. No, he was just supposed to be spirit baby. Okay, I just you don't know. want him to be lost. No, he's not lost. He's not lost. Okay. Absolutely not lost. He had to come in to be. What's wrong? You feel something on it? Are you the first owner of this again. house? Hmm? Um, there's another person prior. Why? I feel that the baby's tied into someone previous, but... Oh, it's not ours? It feels comfortable with you Mm -hmm. and the family environment, so it's clinging to that and making you part of its family. Think of it like a little guardian angel or a little fairy or a little whatever. Not stuck. You would feel it if it was stuck. You feel when they're not happy when they need to go and you get when when it is somebody that the shade oh. didn't know they're dead and whatever that's you that go to the light carolyn and it works you know but it, it's not it's here it's happy to be a little sprite on the other side showing mm. itself about two wendy said that he was trying to climb on the gate <laughs> <laughs> i was like that's so cute what do you see stuff on i think he's just trying to no. 
the energy is getting. Right. Yeah. I'm just getting drained. This, yeah. yeah, no, this no, this is, thing is what, what, is so yeah, up. anything else because the guy's fucking. <laughs> yeah, the guy that. Well, did, you you got this thing around you, and it's all great and loving and peaceful, but my psychic is not like hers. I get the next level guys down, and that kind of circle it, around the nice pure stuff, and they're just, at one point. A big dog came through, and it was growling. I, I got to hear it three times coming, and it's just kind of frozen through. And then there was like, I call them gray zones, and they're they're not celestial, and they're not really pure of energy. Mm -hmm. They're kind of more mischievous, mm -hmm. and they feed off your energy. So there was this or... one that was just like creeping up over here on me, and it was just draining me. I was feeling sick. I almost had to get out a couple times. I saw that. And then you. Got me the water, and I'm like, I gotta focus. I gotta shake this off because it's it's just killing me right now. Hmm. All right, well, Patty, this was beautiful. We have to close it. Yes, <sighs> uh, I mean, especially with with you, Dennis. Like that right there was to me. I love. I really, really love you. Like I love you to death. And he means and, it. And when she went like bubble. this, yeah. like yeah. it just, I don't know, my heart melted for you. So I'm glad that you got your, you know, if that's peace that you got, I'm, I'm happy for you. Yeah, that guy was standing right next to you. You were like elbowing him. Read the dumpster. Oh. It's like a one minute read. It's in this book. All right. So, um, all right. So everybody, both watching, whether you're live watching or you're watching it later, if you open up the veil with us, even at a later time, no time and space on the other side. Um, everybody take a deep breath again. Exhale. If you're so inclined, um, whether we talk to them or not, I always invite your loved ones to come up to you. If you're comfortable with that, maybe they want to just whisper to you whether we did speak to them or not. You Because there, there's a few others here we didn't talk to, obviously. Um, if you're comfortable with it, have them touch you on your hand or your arm or wherever. Or not. Thank them. I, again, what I probably said before, too, what this does is it gives us closure, information, understanding. It gives them that feeling of being alive again, real time. If, if they don't have time and space, they could be everywhere all the time, they're great. But this is like real conversation. It gives them that titillation of being alive. So it's a win-win. But now we do have to have them close down because they're gonna use everybody's energy. So have them see them stepping like backwards into the darkness. See them stepping backwards, thank them, thank them seriously, because again, it takes their energy, it takes your energy, it takes faith. See them stepping back into the darkness, and like a curtain, see the veil slowly closing over the space wherever you are at. The veil is open. I mean, closed. If the veil is closed, the room is open. Sorry, wrong words, right thought behind it. So, um, it got changed in here, just changed in here, just changed in here, it's good. So everybody at home in here, everybody should have a bite of salt if you can, touch iron if you can, anything iron, you have an old iron pan in your kitchen, iron on your stairwell or anything like that, a big old dumpster in the back. Iron will ground you, and even with grounding, everybody, if you kind of went there, is gonna be a little extra psychic for a few days. Your dream life might be increased a little bit just because you open the vein, veil. Even when you close it, you leave it. It's like it's heightened up. It's like going to the gym. Your muscles stay big for a while. So that's, that's what everybody's going to have for a few days. Again, you can shut it down if you want, but why? Spirits are good. Um, we closed them down. So everybody might be a little tired tomorrow. Just like if you go to a spa or something, drink lots of water. And you, you, even if you didn't drink, Sometimes you feel like you had a little hangover the next day. But yeah, I call that ritual hangover. But it's okay. It goes away fast. I'm used to that for the first time we did yeah. that. For the first time. Yeah, you ate the first time, yeah. yeah. So, all right. And anybody have any questions? Or how's everybody feel? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just on cloud nine. It was amazing to me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's Thank give you it up for, for Patty. Awesome. Thank you She's so amazing. It, it, um, go follow her on her socials. Uh, always posting something awesome. Always putting posting something amazing. Um, thank you for letting us get to know you. Thank you for you know being a part of this. 
Um, and you are our family. Like anything you ever need at any given time, would, if we can do for you, we will do for you. Thank you. And vice versa. You guys, I love your energy. I love this whole what you guys create. You're like the funnest show to do. The series is nice and serious, and the fun is nice and fun. So I'm honored, too. Thank you. Yay. All right, we will be right back. We're not going to do World's Greatest Segment. We're going to bump that. And we're going to do, um, Sean put together four stories of serial killers. Um, and we have to guess which of those stories is fake. And then we're going to do Goodnight, Sweetheart. All this, uh, all that, and that is it. Because we are running late on uh, when we come back from commercial. This is No Cover Presents Red Light Dish Show. And we'll be right back.